all right so hey guys um today we are going to be doing a new video and it is going to be a skincare um like nails my whole like little compartment for that and it's just another declutter just like my other ones this will be the last of like that three-part series where I did my makeup once and then I did my hair and now I'm doing this um I usually like to do these per season and then months so like I'll start January February March and then April will be a break and then May June July and then August will be a break and then September October November December will be a break so I try to do this like three times a year just to make sure that I'm not like hoarding too many products and whatnot so yeah um also my background clearly looks a little different because I'm now back home due to um coronavirus which is totally fine um but I just want to make sure I'm giving you guys content that brightens your day because right now there's a lot um going on in the world and I think that making sure that everyone's okay staying positive staying healthy um is the best that I can do for you guys so I'm going to just move you guys over so these are the drawers you can see it now over here I gotta I think there's something blocking this one yeah okay so I'll just kind of take the products out show you what they are and then tell you if I'm gonna keep them or not I kind of try to keep this by category but sometimes that doesn't happen so we'll start with lotion so I have this um the body shop uh mango body lotion we're gonna be keeping that I go I'm going through lotion right now I'm trying to like include it more in my regimen so I'm going through a boatload right now then I have one that's the strawberry I don't like the smell of this one as much but it's not bad um, then I have this, um, from Eden Body Works. It's a body lotion. I don't know where I got this. Let me smell it. Oh, I like the smell. Okay, so we're going to keep that. Then I have this Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Orange Blossom Silky butter, Body Butter. Oh, the, you can kind of smell it, but this one still has, like, the tab on it. But I'm going to be keeping this. This is a this is a microderma dermabrasion paste from Rodan and Fields. I'm gonna be keeping this. It's just a sample size, and I kind of just want to try it. Um, this is pistachio body butter from Pistachio Skincare. So I'll try that. That sounds cool. And then I have the almond milk and honey. So um, this is a hand cream. I'll probably end up keeping this. This is also from the body shop. Oh yeah, it smells just really clean, really nice. And I think this is the final um, body cream, but this is the Merci Handy um, hand cream. It smells nice. I can't really smell it that well just because it has the tab on it. But okay, so I'm gonna put all of that back really quickly. Okay, so now facial oils I have this by Veljean Labs you guys have heard me talk about this a lot it's um cruelty free it's from a lot of it's from um TJ Maxx is where I find it love this so I got this overnight repair facial oil so I haven't tried it but we'll see I'm trying to finish my car and facial oil I don't love it as much but you'll see that in an empties video once I finish it then I have this Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil, just a little sample. And I have another one from Luna. I don't know. This is what this is a Sunday Riley, but the Luna Collection. Then this is the Sunday Riley, but the CEO Glow by um vitamin C and turmeric facial oil. So I'm gonna be keeping that. 
and then the only this isn't even in the right section okay so those are all my facial oils so i'm just gonna put those back i'm gonna keep all three because they're all small i go through them really quickly so yeah then i have this coffee scrub um from i don't know what even the brand is Okay, I think the brand is called the Coffee Scrub, and this one's in Coconut, I think. But I'm going to keep it. It sounds interesting to try. Um, I think that's like the only scrub I have in here. We'll go to um, I like serums, and the only one I have is this one from, is there no brand? Oh, Providence Beauty, and it's a hyaluronic acid and retinol. It smells amazing. I remember that was why I bought it too. So I'm just going to put that back in. All right. And then lip products. I just have this Floor Lip Scrub by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I have this in Cherry Soda. I'm almost finished actually, surprisingly, with my one. So this will be my next. Um, so now we'll go we were doing like let's go with moisturizers first so I know I have a big moisturizer it's this Im image skincare if you watch my facial video this was included in there but I know this is not the product that burned me um I did not go back for another facial clearly but yeah so I have that um another moisturizer that I have is the Tatcha the water cream sample so I'm gonna keep that um sorry I have to like look at everything here's another moisturizer this is the caviar anti-aging replenishing moisturizing CC cream um it seems like a good size like a fair amount It also smells really good, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Um, another one is this Acure Bright, um, Brightly Brightening Day Cream, or Brilliantly Brightening Day Cream. So I'm gonna keep this too. I feel like I can never have enough moisturizers just because I feel like I go through them so much. Then I have this Moisture and Shine by R Plus C Co. And I'm realizing this is a hair product. You guys, I almost would have used this moisturizer. Okay, well, that can just go over there now. Here's another one. The Malin and Gotez. I love this company, this brand. It is really good and I recommend for everyone to try it. So I'm going to keep this. Um, I don't think I have any more moisturizers. Um... Oh, no, this is one. It's the... Oh, this is from Imagine Skincare as well. This is... I must have got this in some box. But it's the Balancing Gel Polisher. So I'm going to keep that. Um, Some face washes that I have. Oh, this is another scrub. Um, is the Throffy Face Wash for, by Checks and Balances. This is what I currently have in my shower too. So I'm just going to keep this. I think like having a backup is always good and I have the bigger one right now so just having a small one so then I can try other products I think is perfect um I also have this this is just in a category all on its own but I have this Mario Badescu facial spray and I just want to keep that I use these so much um I'll just show you two random products that I have oh this is the micro microdermabrasion paste as well so I have two of these so I'll just keep both of these in the front but then I also that's from Rodan and Fields as well then I have this Rodan and Fields um redefine packet but I don't know what it is I gotta like sit down for a week and just try this stuff but I'm just gonna put it in the back until I decide to do that um two toners that I have this is the one that I think leaks is the 
Thayer's Facial Toner. And honestly, I think it changed on me because it did not smell right the last time. So honestly, I'm going to get rid of this and put it in my empties. So we're going to just put this to the side. It's everywhere. Okay, well, another toner I have is the Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion from uh, Mario Badescu. I'm going to keep this. Mario Badescu, love the brand. Um, okay, we'll go with serums. So I have this Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment. I use this after, well, I use this in the place of sometimes my Mario Badescu drying lotion. So I keep this. Um, and then I have this congested skin serum as well. So I'm going to keep that. And then some cleansers that I have. I have this Melon and Gotez Grapefruit Face Cleanser. I know this is empty. Like, I used this all over break and was literally having to, like, squeeze. Yeah, I just squeezed, like, the thing so hard and nothing came out. So that's going in an empty. I have this Acne Control Clarifying cleanser from Murad. Oh my god, this brand is so good. I got sent this in a beauty box, I think. We're keeping that for sure, 100%. Um, I also have this Face for All Amino Acids Hyaluronic Acid um, Hydration Infused Cleanser. So I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to keep the Gentle Foaming Cleanser as well from Comfort Zone. And then I'm going to keep this Tea Tree Balancing Foaming Cleanser as well. I don't know why. I just get all these in beauty subscriptions and I like don't have the time to use them. This is the Remove um, Gentle or Purifying Cleansing Gel. And it's from Clarins. I love Clarins as a brand, so I'm just going to keep this. You guys are probably out here being like, why is she keeping everything? But... I don't know. I feel like I'm, like, entitled to keep everything. Oh, I showed you guys this already, so we'll just put this back here. These are some exfoliators. I have the two of the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay. Um, A lot of people say they like this, so I'm just going to keep both. And if I don't like it, then I'll end up just decluttering the one. This is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. Um... I'm going to just keep this for now, I guess. I guess I can finish it up once I finish my next, like, my one that I'm literally almost out of. I'm, like, scraping out in my um, bathroom. And then the last one is the Comfort Zone Illuminating Refining Scrub. So I'm just going to keep that. And then I have, oh, this is a scrub as well. This is the Fresh Pharmacy Facial Soap. I don't know what this is. It's from Lush. I'm going to just get rid of it. And then I also have, um, oh, this is the thing for the hair. So that's another declutter. Um, I want to like read what this is. Okay. And then I just have the glycolic foaming cleanser as well by Mario Podesta. So I'm just going to keep that. And yeah, that's the first drawer. So from the first drawer, I'm only getting rid of three products. Plus the one that I did not know was a hair product. And then we go to the second drawer, which is a lot. Which is basically just all masks. And we're just going to see if I actually like these masks or not. And if I don't, then it's adios. And if I do, then they can stay. Plus, I seem to have an extreme amount of face masks for some reason. I don't know why, but just do. So we'll go through those first. So I have this limp pl lip plumping mask. I'm going to keep, I'm pretty much going to keep all these unless they're open for some reason, or I really do not see myself using them. Um, K Bella skin brightening mask. Going to keep that. Hang on, sorry, I dropped one. K Bella Deep Cleansing Cream Mask. I don't use cream masks as much just because I feel like they're just something I don't always gravitate towards. But like, 
on a day where I know, like, yes, I'm going to, like, want to be sitting here with a mask on, then I will use something like that, which I'm going to actually pull one of these out. So I'm going to make a pile over here of ones that I can potentially use, which I think this deep cleansing one could be good for tonight. I have this K-Bella pore minimizing one as well. I have this Miss Spa Detoxifying Self-Heating Cream Mask. So then I have some more. I have these Freeman Perky Bus Smoothing and Toning Sheet Mask. I'm pretty sure this is for your, um, your bust. So, you know, that's funny that I bought this, but like, I honestly could see myself using this. Then I have this Crazy Lift Chin and Neck Mask. Interesting. Then I have this Bootyful Paper Mask. This definitely goes on my butt. So I don't know why I bought this. But I kind of want to try it. Just because I think that's so funny that I would purchase something like that. And then I have these. Are they even in there? Oh yeah, I can feel them. The Cream Shop, um, How Do I Look Eye Masks. How are my bags, by the way? So, if you guys didn't know this, I had mono. I found out in January, but I had had it since October. Yeah, so, um, I look like I'm exhausted all the time. So, I might actually use these. Um, then I have this... Um, vitamin C Glow Boosting Unicorn Mud Mask, which is quite interesting. Then I have this Charcoal Mud Mask as well. Then I have this Intense Hydration Seaweed Hyaluronic Mask. My skin doesn't feel that dry right now, so I feel like that's a no-go. Um, sorry, I'm just going to put it up there because they're like all the same size right now. Then I have this 24 karat gold radiance mask. Interesting from the spa. So I clearly gravitate towards a lot of the same brands. I remember getting this next one in a beauty subscription. And I used the first one. Loved it. It's on my Instagram. But then there's this one. The You Can't Handle This Sheet um, mask. And this one's for purifying. And I think these are hilarious. So I'm going to put that in my potential pile for tonight. And then you guys can go check out my Instagram when I post this video or yeah, when I post this video, I will also post a picture of what mask I ended up doing so that you guys can check. I have this detoxifying sheet mask from Spa Sensations. Interesting. Then I have this yes um to cucumber mask. I have this detoxifying bubble mask from e.l.f. so that's interesting as well i have these panda eye brightening masks as well that's so cute i i don't know what they look oh my god it literally looks like a panda look you can see it on the back oh my god i'm dead oh my gosh okay sorry guys um then I have this Yes To Calming Super Eye Mask. So clearly I'm really just feeling the eye mask lately. Then I have this foot mask, which honestly, I feel like I have another foot mask. I have this one too, and I'm not as worried about this brand as I am this one. Just because my roommate, my freshman year of college, got this for me. I'm a little scared to do this. So I think I'm going to declutter this one, actually. I did one of these last night. This 24 karat gold glow mask. Loved it. So we're going to keep that. Um, then I did, there's another intensive foot mask. So I'm going to keep that as well. Then I have this Spawell foot pads. So I'm going to keep those. And then I have this Clench facial sheet mask. Oh, and then finally, I have these um, European Skincare Hydrating Collagen Eye Masks. I might do those other ones because these ones seem really nice, so I might just keep these ones up here. Then other masks. I have, oh, now I can put these ones in. These were just the bigger ones, so I can really put them on top. Then I have this Plump Hydrating Mask. 
from that brand Valjean Labs. And I'm going to keep this. I bought two of these by accident. And I'm going to put one in the giveaway once I get 10 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe down below. Um, another one that I got is this Too Faced Pineapple Glow Mask. I like want to... I don't know if I love this, but I haven't got to try it, so I kind of want to try it. See if I like it. What is that even supposed to do? Like, does it say? Apply an even layer all over the face, then rinse completely to reveal baby soft, refreshed, and brightening skin. So, I'm going to keep this, see if I like it, and if I don't, then I will get rid of it. This is a purifying peel-off mask. Those, like, ones that you can see your blackheads. I haven't opened it. I bought a second one. And I just finished the second one, so I'm going to be opening this one soon. So I'm going to keep. Um, then I have this pore cleansing clay mask. This has, like, no scent. Um, what is this? Interesting. I'm going to keep it. It seems interesting. Similarly, I have this blackhead um, bubble pour pack, um, I'm gonna keep this as well, and then smaller ones, I have this glow recipe, I want to get a full size one of this, because this one I've gone into recently, love it, so I'm going to keep, then I have this ultra glow Moroccan rose mask, which, if I remember, I did not like the scent of this, Yeah, I did not like the scent of this. It just smells weird off, something like that. So I'm going to declutter this. And then finally, I have this overnight peel. I'm intrigued by this, so I'm going to keep it, actually. Um, Then I have this... Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel-Off Mask. So I'm going to keep this. I really like masks and I feel bad because this is just like a stupid declutter. I feel like because you guys, I guess it's more like a collection video so that you can see now what's in my collection. I have this Pure Elise um, Energizing 2-Minute Polishing Peel. So I'm going to keep this. I've heard this brand is like super good by a lot of people. So another one of these Skin and Sky but this is a pore-fying face mask, so we're going to keep that as well. Oh, another one of these Malin and Gotez Brightening Enzyme Masks. So I'm going to keep this. Said I love this brand, you guys. And then I have this Balancing Mask, which seems interesting. And finally, I have just this Luminous 3-Minute Peel, but I think it just said... Oh, so it's basically like you just put it on, rub, 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 and then it should turn into like, I think a solid, um, to like remove your dead skin. So I'm going to keep this, see what it's like, maybe put a video up and then, yeah. And then my final drawer is full of nail products. Which I don't even do my nails that much, so I feel like I do not need all this. It also has some random, like, tools, but I'm just gonna, like, not show you guys those because, like, there's no point. Um, let me grab all of the nail polishes out first. Oh, I also have another hand cream down there that I did not know about. Okay, well, um, also I'm gonna keep, I guess, the softening hand cream by Valjean Labs as well. Um, okay, so I have this Defy and Inspire nail polish. It's like this light baby pink, kind of like this. I'm going to keep that because I feel like that color is really in. It's really pretty. So we're going to keep that. I'm going to just throw away this. Um, I have this deep purple, which I don't think I have that many. I only have two 
deep colors. So I think I'm going to keep this one, like two deep colors besides this. Because I also have this one from Pretty Woman. I try to make sure now my nail polish is almost all cruelty free as well. So, oh, I love this. This is stunning. Okay, I'm going to definitely be keeping this. Um, And then this is the other and it's by Color Club. And it's like this dark, I want to say like green. I'm going to just swatch it somewhere. Um, oh, I know what I'll do. Where I'll swatch it. Okay, I don't think I'd wear this color. Like, I go to Michigan State, but like, I don't even think like here, you guys can kind of see it. Like, I don't even think that's green really I just don't see myself wearing this color like at all so I'm gonna declutter that so we'll put that in the declutter oh by the way um from the last year I only decluttered these two products so we'll just put those down there with the declutter um then I have this one from color club which is this beautiful like pinky purple I'm definitely gonna keep this and then I have this coral one from Francesca's, which I'm definitely going to keep. I feel like I have another coral one, which is right here. So let's look at the difference. I don't know what this one's from. I feel like this is more pinky, but I just feel like I would not wear that color. So I'm going to declutter that as well. And then I'm going to go to this pink which is from Sally Hansen. And see, I would wear more of this pink before that other pink, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then, oh, I have a lactic acid treatment. De deeply exfoliates for clarify clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. I don't know what this is. Okay, I'm just going to put this up here. We're not going to declutter it. Sunday Riley's the brand, and we'll just see if I, when I use that. Anyways, back to it. I have this sparkly orange nail polish, which I don't see myself using. I kind of just want to see how it comes. Okay, but that's kind of cool. I kind of want to keep it because it's just kind of unique compared to my other colors. So I'm going to keep it. I love this light pinky one, so I'm going to keep that. You guys can clearly see the types of colors I like. Um, then I have this red, which I know red is like a staple, but red is just not a color to go for. So I'm going to declutter that as well. And then we have our final three, so it's just a clear coat, so I'm going to clearly keep that. And then I have this purple one, which... Yeah, I really like, so I'm going to keep that as well. That's from Glamour House. And then finally, I have this blue, which is kind of similar to what I have on my nails now, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. And so I only got rid of three nail polishes there, but like that's, I did not even expect to get rid of any nail polish, so I'm just going to shove that back in the drawer, along with the cotton ball that I bought. <laughs> Yeah, so got rid of three products, um, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. So eight products overall. So yeah, um, you guys can come back tomorrow and I will have another video up. But let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. Bye.